make sure we go out there with a mindset, set the tone early and often. Listen, you go down there and hit them in the face, first play, set the tone, men, you will watch them melt one by one. What time you got right now? Let's go, sideline up. Down, let's go. Thursday mornings is early. Hammer it. Good. We start practice about 6.15 in the morning, and then uh, end about 7.15, 7.20, somewhere around there. There you go. But then they have the rest of the day to be by themselves. I want Thursday to be a different, they can just be a regular student. Renee Key. Down, let's go. Bang. No, good. No sleeves. Looking. He's from Wisconsin. Showing that toughness out here. See you. So head coach of high school football, it fell at my feet. Huddle up. Good call, Jack. Good call, Jack. Slide it over. JT, right middle. So when I retired with the Colts, my wife Karen and I, we felt that family was the most important thing. So we decided we had moved closer to home to our parents and our siblings. Decided to go get near Mimi's and Grampy's and Pawpaw's and Nana's, you know, and the whole deal back in Georgia. First throw on the run, let's go. Down, let's go. Hammer it. Good. I was helping coach my son's team. Their head coach, he decides it's time to step down so he can go and coach his own kids' sports in the youth leagues. And so when he stepped down, the school asked me, they said, listen, would you step in and do it? My, my oldest was gonna enter 10th grade. And so I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. This is my third year starting and it's been, it's been a lot of fun so far. Ready. Oh. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Good gracious. Hey, listen up. Got breakfast over here. Once we're done, make sure you thank everybody for helping us out. That's nice of them. Hey, listen, men, eyeballs, distractions, right? Pep rallies, parades, you know, what you're going to wear to the dance on Saturday, all that kind of stuff, man, put it to bed, right? Put it to bed. Big game. Make sure you're on the details of what we got to do. You follow me? Had a good week of practice. Remember, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I mean, that's what, that, that's what dictates what happens on Friday, right? So stay sharp, stay on top of it. You got me? Sir, Take got care it. of your business at school today. Let's, let's pray and then break it down. Who's going who's gonna to lead us? I got it. All right, you got us. Paulson's got us. Dear God, thank you for bringing us here today, Lord. Thank you uh, for giving us the opportunity to come out here and play football, God. I pray that you can help us as we go throughout the day to uh, remember why we're here, God, and uh, to serve you. I pray that you can help us to be all ready and eliminate the distractions. And thank you for everything you do for us. In Jesus' great name we pray. Amen. Hey Amen. Break it down. Let's go. Who's hey. got it? Family on three. One, two, three. Family. So this is the, the ice bath, my first ice bath. That's the first playoff win in Hebron Christian Academy's history. And so we beat, at, uh, we beat Mount Perrin last year in the playoffs. And this, this one grabbed me. So young Jaden grabs me, and they, and they got me. Pretty awesome picture. When you think about the accomplishments I had as a player, and whether it be Super Bowls, Pro Bowls, you know, the, the name in this team, all, all of those things, I think the impact the game has had on my life is far greater than that. They give us to Dominic off the left side. Cuts back right, got to the goal line, but didn't get in. That's like a fumble. fumble. Oh, Touchdown! Touchdown! They say the Colts got it! The Colts got it! Oh, Doctor, that is a big break there! The game itself taught me so much about life, about perseverance, about effort, about being a team, what that means. And I think all of those factors are what I try to impart into my kids. What does it mean to be a teammate? Teammate, you have to work for the other guy. It's not just working for you, it's working for the other guy. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to drive you. There are going to be days you don't want to get up. And I tell them, listen, when you're a husband, it's no different, right? When you're a father, it's no different. You're gonna, there are gonna be days you wanna be selfish, you wanna be about you, but that's not what a true teammate looks like. That's not what a true man looks like. Here's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> Let's do it. Close the doors, let's go. Let's go! All right, get your spots. Let's go, get your spots. Lights out, let's go. Friday nights are like none other. Ears on me right now. Set the tone. I get 
the same butterflies? Did I do everything I could have done? Are these guys prepared? Guys blocking, find the first one, freaking hunt them down, men. Hunt them down, hit them right in the mouth, let them know what type of game it is. You with me? Yes, sir. Defense, they got no business moving the ball on us. Being a head coach has been a humbling experience for sure. Ears pinned back, make them big boys move. Play physical. You with me? Yes, sir. Linebackers fly over the top. Men, you see it? Go make a play on it. They want to use their speed. Go hawk them down. Nobody gets behind us. They got speed. We got speed. Go match it up. You with me? Yes, sir. Offense. Complete domination. Play to what we are, men. Play for each other. Let's get after them. First whistle, last whistle. Prove who you are. You got me? Yes, Bring sir. it up in here. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Men, go whip that butt. <laughs> miss a ton about the game. Just the feel, you, you know, you can't replicate that. I found the closest thing in coaching. I bring it in. We talked about it, right? This team goes as this group goes. You got me? O-line, D-line, this is how we win football games. You got me? Come in, conquer, and dominate these boys. Who's got us? Let's go. Hey, hey. GTA on three. One, two, three. BTA. BTA. Let's get it. Here we go. Right at him, right at him. That's it. Get there, Winston. Strip it. Get that ball. Get that ball. Got him. Hey, Chris. Chris. You saw that hole, Chris. Everybody saw it. His jersey's off the shoulder pads. I am a yeller by nature. I'm an offensive lineman, so we're screamers. Trio left. Stay with him, Kendall. Stay with him. You're on defense, Kendall. Now I tell my kids, I tell my parents, look, man, I'm trying to teach you. Uh, sometimes you can't hear quite as well when you're on the field, so I make sure I can. you can hear me. So I get, I get a little loud. Hey. That's your job. That's your job. I would say Tony Dungy and Jim Caldwell. Great job. Good you guys did a heck of a job. Yes, sir. From a head coaching perspective that I try to mimic. If you look around my room, right, we got expectations, execution, no explanations, no excuses, right? I mean, we have, we have these signs around that I grabbed from Tony right away. And I actually called him. When, uh, when I took the job and I said, hey, can I steal your stuff? He's like, man, go get it, you know, go, go have fun with it. But I've tried to apply the principles that I learned from those guys about the men that you're putting on the field ultimately are what's gonna produce. It's not about scheme, it's not about those, it's, hey, when you're putting the right guys on the field, those guys are gonna show up for you. Good job up front, good job up front. They freaking move mountains, man, that's what I'm talking about. Seeing a kid's progress, right, from day one until they leave and who they are as a man, to me, makes all the difference in the world. Use the sideline as your advantage, right? Let's try to drive them out. Good job, man. When I look at them and I see who they are, I see how they conduct themselves, the colleges they're going to, or the jobs they're going, or the military, whatever they're doing. Uh, and it's pretty amazing that you can see early on where they fit. And good job on that corner. Good work. And I have really appreciated the fact of being able to see the youth of our country, I mean, the youth of my community and what it's really like. Offense, let's go! They're great, great young adults, and, and I've, I've loved the experience of being around. I feel younger being around them. I, mean, I know the music, I hear the things, right? The, the cool stuff, whatever's trending. Go. Go score. One. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nobody there, baby. Hey, nice job, Demetrius! Good block, good block. Uh, lit him up, hey, lit him up, dude. Met him in the trees, gave him the business in. Hilliard, that's the way to drive your feet, man. Putting that boy in the end zone. Well done. Thank you. Proud Appreciate of you, man. It. And you got your little run in. <laughs> hey, I should be listening to the I'm just saying. Congratulations. Heck of a game, man. It, man. Hey, great, great job. Thanks, great Appreciate job. It. Proud yeah, of y'all, man. Good work. From a success perspective, we've been better than I thought we would be. We continue to get better. Good game, coach. Good luck. Good luck. I get so excited for them Good when game. they have success. Good, Good luck to you guys, man. Good game. Good game. Good luck to you guys. That's the joy I take when I see them celebrate. That puts you on cloud nine, man. Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful for this opportunity to play the game, God. We're grateful for this victory. God. What have we done to elevate other people around us? That's what I cherish. That's what I enjoy. Men, take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. Hey, hey, 
handled your business, man. Congratulations. Put it together, baby. Hey, nice work. God has been so good to me and blessed me so much with, with the kids I've been able to coach. Hey, that was a good game, man. Way to execute, you handle your business. Everybody got a shot to get in and get some game. Proud of you guys. Heck of a game, heck of an effort, right? Tomorrow, homecoming, right? Make good decisions. Be smart, right? Your leaders, not only on this, in the school, but in the community. Make sure you're being smart with it, right? Take care of the ladies you're with. Make sure you're gentlemen, you handle yourself the way you're supposed to, right? That's, that's who we are as men, okay? Aspirations in coaching. I take it year to year. My family is always gonna be the priority. My wife and I talk about it after every season is, okay, are we good? Where are we? You know, where are our kids? What are they trying to get accomplished? I never wanna be the guy who missed it. Proud of you guys, man. Break it down. Let's get out and go see your family. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Boston, break it down. Get it. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Hey. Taking the job. Yep. Aspirations would be do the best I can every season that I'm here. And once I know I'm in, I'm in 100%. But it is figure it out and go for it every, every season that I'm here. Good job, man. Good work. Good work. Heck of a win, man. What we decide on the flyers again? Uh, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We're going to swap over to over 75 years of savings and service. But we're just going to swap over. Yep, pump the brakes on this, swap it over to that. 